Nice. All right. So, we got red science up and running. We're working on, what, electricity at the moment. Electricity is going to give us proper inserters, which is kind of nice. It would be good to, like, not build or use a single burner inserter in the entire game. That would make me feel very happy. Yeah, the only, the only time I feel like burner inserters are really worth it are for, uh, for power. Yeah, absolutely. But yeah, I, I, I hate burners. I hate having to refuel things. I'll do it if I have to, but... I just... It's nice to not have to worry about them, you know? Or worry yep. about have to refill stuff, you know? It's just, uh... It's just nice. Okay. But just to finish my thing on uh, art school... Yeah. Ultimately, it was mostly beneficial because I learned how to do, like, digital art better because... There are a lot of online tutorials for it, but a lot of the people that I see that are purely self-taught often have uh, foibles that make make it difficult for them. Uh, so, like, I used to follow a bunch of webcomic artists, and it was super obvious that a number of them had never, like, really learned how to draw from life or draw from perspective correctly. And they were improving, but it was definitely slower than going to X number of years of college. Uh, yeah. The other thing is I learned how to be self-motivated, which is something that I had difficulty with in high school because... I don't know about you, but I was often very bored in English, history. I, I loved math and science, but all of my teachers were, like, ex-cheerleaders, which just wasn't helpful. What? Yeah. Like, really? Seriously? Yeah. Yeah. So, in America, teachers aren't paid particularly well, and so a lot of the teachers are the people that really want to be teachers, or they are... Uh, people that just couldn't find anything better to do with themselves, so they just stayed in the <laughs> education system. <laughs> that, is, that is the most absurd statement. That really, it, that that is strikingly weird. It's it's weird, and it's awful, because you end up with a lot that of people terrible. that are just doing it for the paycheck, which is not great, because you kind of need the education system to be good if you want your population to, you know... Thrive, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, exactly. And so I had a year, I, from, I'm trying to remember what my seventh grade math teacher was. Okay, so from eighth grade, which was when I was, what, 13, until I was set, no, 13 until 16, every single one of my math teachers was an ex-cheerleader who had gone into teaching purely just because they couldn't find anything else to do in the working world, and so they just became teachers, which is, like, gross. Uh, and then after that, it was an ex-lawyer who uh, took all of his lawyering skills into grading math tests, which was about as terrible as it could have been. Yeah. Uh, could you... So like, okay, here's here's another yeah. question. I explain cheerleading. Like, it's a proper institution, isn't it? Like, because I, I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Yeah, does, like, does football slightly. have much for cheerleaders? No. No. Yeah. That's what I was thinking. Uh, as far so, as I'm aware. Cheerleading, I don't get it either. I, I guess it's a means of pepping people up, but from what I could tell, it was just something to get students to do to exercise that became way too big of a thing in the U.S. But I, I have the same feeling about most sports. It's just like, why, why is this so big? Yeah, I just... I, I don't, but the, like, cheerleading was just something that was so weird because it's such a... It's so, I guess, ancillary to the sport. Like, it's so it's so unnecessary. Like, if you turn up to a, a sports match, you know. Yeah. <laughs> the, the quality of the play does not depend on the, you know, the pre-show the pre -show cheerleading segment. And it's just, it, just, it was I, just a bit confusing to me. I think it's just sports are big media. And yeah. by turning it into this big festival almost you know entertainment you have flashy cheerleaders you have big bands you know huge halftime shows uh from the perspective of probably advertising and money making it's a good uh, point it'll good point. make you more money the more you like kind of blow it up as opposed to if, if it was just totally dry uh 
I don't know. My my experience with cricket has always been the driest of sports. Oh, I agree. It's so bad. It's so awful. And it's so dreadful. I I would not be surprised if yeah, one of the main reasons why American football, for example, is so big as compared to say cricket is just that level of well, pizzazz that they're injecting into the system. You say that. You say that, but cricket is crazily enough like one of the largest sports in the world because nations like India I can see that. love cricket. Like cricket is it's crazy over there. But oh, no, a, I let's like, let's hate, let's let's hate on cricket more. I I despise that. I, I it's so boring. It's just so, it's so bad. They play for you know they play for four days. <laughs> like they play for four days at a time. Like, it's what? just yeah yeah no serious. In fact, I think it's five days actually. So they play a what's I think I believe it's called a five mast test, and they literally play a game for an entire day, and at the end of the first day, it's like okay that's the end of the first game. And then they do that four more times, and then whoever wins the most games over a five-day period it sounds wins like an the test. Endurance match. It's awful. It's it's dreadful. And it's I, I tell you what I feel I feel sorry for the people that have to catch the ball because a cricket ball is like a baseball except like a rock, and they catch it with their bare hands. And I have I have tremendous sympathy for cricketers. How but not really. It's a do you not destroy your hands? I have no idea. Well, that's because everything happens so slowly that you only have to catch a ball like once once every, I don't know, 10 hours or something. Okay, so you, it gives your hands time to heal. <laughs> I, don't, maybe I, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I'm just presuming, yeah. <laughs> it's It aggravates me how people enjoy watching cricket. I, I'm sorry. I just don't get it. I don't see it. I don't see it at all. What do you think of What do you think of my setup? Critique my setup. It's pretty. It's pretty dodgy, isn't it? Uh, yeah. Uh, it'll do. It'll as, do. As right? soon as we get uh, electricity going, I'm ripping this up and replacing it with something considerably less um suspect. Look. All right. You know what? I'm proud of this little. It's it's, it's awful. It's great it? for it's now. <laughs> it's, it's great so for it now. Looks, it's so slow as well. The burner I, assembly machines. It's just are, diabolically slow. They are sad. What is their production? Zero speed, point crafting 25. speed, one quarter. Yeah. Point yeah. two five. Ooh. Yeah. The sad thing is the burner laps are <laughs> just as slow. Yeah, I know. I it's just it's miserable. It's miserable. But you know what? It it's it's it so, is what it is. We we have electricity. We can go, right? We can uh, we can start. Sort of. Unfortunately we we can do the inserters, but we don't have the Proper pumps. Mainly, we don't have electronic circuits yet because that's actually uh, locked off under I, a yeah, different I queued recipe. That up. Yeah. It's just taking. It's just taking ages. In fact, you know, it's easier if I just craft like these things myself. All right, I'll craft a. I'll craft a some more. Some more packs. And we can throw this in. How many do we need? We need a hundred. So it's not actually that many. So do you have a sport that you actually like will watch or no not really? No, I mean I unironically occasionally watch esports because it's I mean I, can see I that. uh I, I like uh you know I like Dota from time to time. So I watch uh, I watch the International, which is like the big uh, Dota event. I burnt out on Dota hard back when it was Warcraft three. Like my brother mm -hmm. and I played it endlessly and then it started to become a big thing towards the end of that and i was like yeah i'm bored now i will go play yep. other things i i i'm a recovering dota dict so i'm i'm at least six months clean nice. so i i don't i don't like i don't like playing it to be honest but i i don't mind watching it from time to time it's a good yeah. sort of background it's a good I background thing to watch right you know I guess from that perspective, I'm real big on speedrunning. Didn't watch this year's SGDQ because it feels weird without the live audience, but that's always a sight to behold. I agree, actually. It's very entertaining. And the skill, the level of skill and the level of practice is immense. It really yep. is. I, 
variant. It is a mild dream of mine to go and speedrun some really crappy game for like one hour there. Like, not even uh -huh. well, but uh -huh. just with like, uh, I, I don't know, probably grab Rito because he's going to be in the area and just have him on the couch losing his mind. <laughs> Okay, I can see Rito just saying, okay, so everyone, you need to watch now, because he's going to do this super, super interesting thing. And then I can just imagine you not doing it, because Rito has no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> well, that was kind of the plan. <laughs> just bullshit as hard as possible on a game that can be completed in an hour. And just pretend I'm doing insane things, but I'm just playing an hour-long game, and that's it. <laughs> that would be, that would be amazing. I'd I probably would... never get invited back, but it would be lovely to just have, like, some like the wholesome verse hype crew because I'm pretty be... sure I could ship out a couple of the guys. <laughs> I'm sure Jonas. I'm sure Jonas would. Uh, yeah, I, I could see Jonas. That. We could probably get Alexa Penta. would probably. Alexa yeah. would probably come. I imagine. Hey, yeah, because it's usually tried. in like Minnesota, which is smack dab in the middle of the U.S. on the north side. Uh huh. And so yeah, it wouldn't be so bad. But the other one is. Uh, do you know what a tool assisted speedrun is? Um. Roughly, but please okay. explain. So, tool assisted for... speedruns are when you have like a, a bot do the uh, speedrun for you. And, okay. Uh, I it would be tempting to put together my own like tool assisted speedrun, just have the bot do the speedrun. But I still have the controller in the hand, in my hands, pretending that I'm doing all of the insane shit that the the bot is doing. Okay. Just, like, all right. Complete farce. <laughs> I, I, they would never let me in. They would never let me do any of this stuff, but it is... Whoa. Whoa. They okay. found us. Oh, no. We are unprepared. We have uh, literally no... Of... We have literally no military upgrades. That is fine. Okay, well, I've got a pump. I've got a pump. Uh, I googled land... I say I googled landfilled. You know what I mean. I, I landfilled. But I think we need green packs in order to get landfill, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, no, we don't need landfill. Uh, what is but it? It's water remote. fills we can make. So as soon as water we get the electronics fill. and we get some uh, some water going, we'll be okay. I'll just build uh, some basic dart turrets. Water fill. It's in water it's under in research. Or it's not under Dectorio. It's actually in logistics at the bottom. It's so easy. Logistics at the bottom. I've got we've got a pump, so we can oh. we can do that now. I, I think because we got electronics, in... we can't do it in here. At least not as far as I can see. What? Oh, okay. So we need the steam powered assembly machine to make oh water fill. All right. Well, we have if, for we whatever have reason it is not available in the basic assembly machine, but steam powered should be. All right. Well. If water. you want me to handle power this time, I can I can do that pretty quick. Go for it. Okay, water fill. Yep, water, water fill. Okay, let's 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 do power. I do mean, have, to be honest. Do we have I boilers build, and stuff yet? No. I can we just don't. build a burner. I can just build a burner generator like over here, and we can just like have this the only bit that is actually powered. We do have a boy. We've got an electric boiler which we can use. Yeah, I'll do that. I'm going to start researching steam power. Ooh, that's expensive. We're going to need it, though. Yeah. Let me see. I guess i got a boiler here. I think. Uh, yeah, so that pipes in there. Oh. Oh, are these straight pipes? Oh, shoot. Ah, uh, I made a mistake. What's up? There's straight pipes, which are different from regular pipes. Oh. And they're they are just the worst. And then, hold up, let's put this down over here. I'll fill it with coal. Is that, that's it? Yeah, that's, that's all it. she wrote. You got, yeah, that's all we you need. got your, you got your water fill. It looks whack though, what the heck? That looks like a really weird item. Uh, I think it's just a screenshot of a wa of some water on like blank that's, land and creative. That's literally it. Wow. Yeah. Uh, can I, I tell you what? We might even be able to get a second 
I'm gonna pretty pretty sure we can just daisy chain. Oh. Here, do you want me to scale this up? Because I can do that pretty quick. Uh, yeah, go for it. Although, hold it before before you do, though. Let me see if we can just get like another one. Well, I've got a I've got a big pipeline like just down south of where we currently are. Oh, that isn't on dude. this like nubbin. Ah, yeah, go for it. Uh, Alternatively, you can handle this, and I can go work on something else. I was I was just looking to see if we could. Uh... So I think I'm, I think this is a pretty decent. I think it's a pretty decent little setup here. If we can rotate this around, and then what about scaling something like this up? Because I think that that might just be. That's quite yeah. nice. That's a quite, yeah, quite nice little. Hold up. Let me uh, let me deconstruct this and then stick this in the middle here. Oh, it's almost so perfect. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually not too displeased with that. Actually. Yeah. No, this will work. Uh, here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna scale it harder. Go for it. Because we can fit... We the can only fit thing is, I one of these. don't know how much steam we'll actually need to, to introduce into the system. I... That's interesting question. Right I don't know. But it doesn't matter. Oops, these are the straight pipes. I gotta get rid of those. Yeah, those straight pipes are really... Ugly. Really daft. Okay, here we go. Boiler. Uh, can you move? Thank you. Sorry. Oh, that's a straight... Yeah, I put a straight pipe yep. in there. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking good. This is looking yep. real good. And then it's looking real, real good. There we go. Okay, so now we now we have water fill coming in. And we can build the moat that I've been wanting since last week. I don't know what you're talking about. Last week? This is the first week. Uh-huh. This is the first this is the first week. I don't <laughs> <laughs> Just don't know what you're talking last about. Last week up as an unlisted video. I name I it don't the know first iteration. Different. Put it in the playlist. What is what video? I don't know. I don't know what you're talking about. All right. So, unfortunately, even though we're producing hundreds of water fill constantly, slowly, yeah. uh, that's this is going to take a while. This this moat is going to it's going to take a lot to build. I think we can actually. Luckily, we can use the uh, moat to delete cliffs and some other things. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty usable, pretty usable, pretty usable bit of tech. Okay. Alrighty, I'm trying to. This is a, okay. We got a lot of we got a lot of water fill now. There we go. Look at that. Look at that. All powered off one single boiler. Yep. That's pretty good. It's pretty impressive. You know, looks like I reckon this might not actually take as long as we anticipate, given that yeah, these steam powered assembly machines. Going. They, they work at like two times speed as well. They're like really quite good. Yeah. Yeah. I like this. Okay, what's next? What, what else do we need to do? Do we need walls? Uh, I think... Maybe walls might not be a bad idea. Let me see. Yeah. I'll get wall production set up. Something like that. Okay. I'm curious how much we're going to need, but it can't hurt. Because ideally what I'd like to do is leave at least one area where they can attack us. Mm -hmm. uh, that way we can actually farm the juice off of them. 
I am also pro that. I'm also pro not being caught unawares, because I have a funny feeling that they're just going to come for us, you know? Yeah. They're, they're, we're just going to suddenly end up overwhelmed, and it's going to be... It's going to be embarrassing. I was, I was thinking we might want to... Actually, what would probably be more useful right now is radar. Even though that oh, will piss yeah. them off and make them come for us, uh, then we'll actually know. Yeah, I'm, I'm keen. Oh, look at this. Look at this. A proper power setup. This feels yeah. this feels great. What's the ratio? Do you know do you know the it's ratio? It's always one to two. It's always one to two. Okay. Yep. At least unless you're using the electric boilers or some other weird garbage that I don't know about. But for yeah. for vanilla boilers and steam engines, always one to two. Yeah. There you go. Probably have to expand coal heavily, but eh, later. Oh, we haven't gotten think... there. But what there up? are really nice power towers that we get access to later with just like crazy coverage. Oh, yes. Going back to these just basic power poles makes me sad. I know, I know. Not even medium power poles. Yeah. Oh, we can make steel as well, I think, can't we? I should make steel. Yeah, we can make steel. Wait, what? Steel plate recipe. Five iron ore? Let's see. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll make like a little bit of steel just to sort of get us on our way. What do we need for... Oh, there it is. For better logistics. There we go. Oh, uh, do we have access to the non-burner labs? Nope. Uh, still burner labs. That's fun. This. Okay, there we go. I might see if we can actually upgrade all of our furnaces to electric furnaces, because that is a really easy way to just explode production. What is going on here? Why is the offshore pump... Oh. I didn't realize the offshore pump required power. Uh, that's just uh, yeah. It's not a big deal, but it doesn't usually, does it? No, it just definitely doesn't usually. Yeah. Well, now it does. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. We got steel production. At least a little bit of steel production, so that'll. Hopefully get us through the early stages of stuff. Yeah. Okay. How's our power production looking? I don't think. Now? I don't. I think we're I don't just think not we're consuming any power. That's the main issue. Nah, it's because we got. It's because we got that on. There you go. I turned off the burner. The burner generator. Ah. That's that's looking so now it should be self-sustaining I think right presumably yeah. yeah as long as long as we don't run out of power which is a little I, spooky I mean, in and of itself what I might want to do is put the offshore pump on a separate power loop with just like one of the steam engines uh, yeah, yeah I, it shouldn't I, be I, a, I, too much of a problem I guess as as soon as we get just basic solar. We're not going to run out of power. We're not going to run out of power. It'll be it'll be absolutely fine. Yeah, you're right. As long as I don't We're, start yeah. doing alchemy soon, and we won't. Alchemy. Yeah. Oh no. Oh don't no. Don't worry about that. Okay. <laughs> okay. There we go. Okay. So what else do we need to do? We've got walls that we need to do. We've got. We've actually. We need to deploy. We need to deploy the the moat. The great, the great wander moat that I've heard so much about. Yeah. You know what? I'm going to wander around for a bit, maybe. Nah. <laughs> yeah, okay. I know. I know I <laughs> you said. get that a lot? <laughs> I, I say it a lot. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> I, I picked my name, and it was very apropos. Yeah? Yeah. I... Uh, I guess I was working on a video for this, but I 
I am super happy with like the username I picked for myself. Uh, and I don't know. How about you? How long did it take to come up with Orbital Potato? I threw random words together. So, okay, here is my thought. My thought was I wanted something. I wanted a verb and a noun. Like I wanted... Yep. I wanted a something something. Kind of like you, actually. I mean, that you're kind of the same, I, I, well, I, I suppose, you know. A doing yeah, word I, and then a, another thing. And that's... I came up with Orbital Potato. That was pretty much it. This stuff, yeah. Oh. Huh. That's weird. So how did the, how did you come up with your name? I I uh, so a lot of my like base influences were a bunch of YouTubers that were two words. So Total Biscuit, Northern Lion, so on and so forth. And so it was kind of like, okay, so I know where I want to go with this. Uh, and I actually had a web comic for a little while. It's super dead, so like don't ever go bother looking for it. About like a robot that was just wandering around, but it wasn't named that. And so uh -huh. I was like, okay, so it's going to be bot. Like, that's easy. I know that one. And then Shell just turned around and was like, how about Wander? And that was it. Took, like, one afternoon, no deliberation. And so I get a lot of people asking, like, how'd you come up with your username? And I'm like, it was the easiest shit ever. I don't yeah. know why people act like it's uh, complicated. I, I, yeah, I'm in the same boat. I'm in the same boat. It's funny you should mention that, actually. Total Biscuit was, like, the exact the exact sort of uh the exact sort of name that i sort of said to myself right, can you delete that pipe there because i've got a blueprint for this could you delete that power cable and also this one yeah that one that would be perfect thank you uh, so by the way you actually want to leave a gap between oh for the power cables yeah do you okay because uh because otherwise you can't uh connect the power so let me oh, okay. let me extend it. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Because this right, way you can just... have one power pole, kind of spacing each set out. Eventually, it's not so bad, and you can have uh, huge power poles, but chunky ones. Yeah. Oh, are these boiler twos actually? Are these boiler ones? Uh, we, we got just... boiler twos. Yeah, we just got boiler twos. I will be upgrading as soon as we have steam engine twos. Okay. Cool. Right. But yeah, no, Total Total Biscuit, like that name to me was like pretty much an exemplar an exactly, exemplar yeah. type name. It's kind of the best, you know? And it gives you two words to work off of, so like if one works and one doesn't. Hundred uh, percent agree. Because I, I think for you, it's you, people can either use orbital or potato and it kinda works. For me, not a whole lot of people call me bot, which you know what? I'm kind of fine with that. Uh-huh. It works as branding, but it's not super necessary from like a somebody calling me bot because that's that actually bot. is super weird. <laughs> it does sound strange, yeah. Uh, the one unintended consequence of picking my name is a number of people actually thought I was like Nightbot, for example. Okay. <laughs> and so uh, okay. I, I have some local friends in the city uh, that are also streamers, YouTubers, and they were. Uh, they were a little confused why I was interacting with them because they thought I was like a legit bot and I was like, no, I'm a real person. I'm a real That's boy. Quite, that's <laughs> quite good, actually. That is quite good. Hey, we got I like that. That's a good feeling. All right. Uh, did I get yokai walls? Because I wanted to. I wanted to get... Uh, I wanted to get yokai stuff. I feel like spice it up a little bit, you know? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, we need glass for labs. What? All right. Yeah, it's 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 quite easy though. I think. I'm gonna start pushing us towards electric labs, so we can get away from these burner monstrosities. I, I, I know they're just they're just so soul destroying in the worst possible way. So wasteful. Yokai walls. Okay. Kill that. Queue up. That okay, great. Okay, we got a lot of we got a lot of research to do. In fact, yep, I'm gonna make a couple of additional burner uh, labs to, to get through. Optimizing science that makes it so what? much faster. 
what does that mean? When you say uh, alchemizing science, what does so that mean? So, you know what producti productivity modules are, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, you know what beacons are, yeah? I do. So we got some high tier beacons that we have access to. Oh, uh, okay. That you can stick like 10 productivity modules into. Something from very little. Super nice. Totally broken, but it costs egregious amounts of power, so I don't feel like it's terribly unfair. I yeah, I mean I don't mind it a little bit a little bit broken. It's, it's all good. You also really don't get the ability to like abuse it, I think, until towards the end of the game, and then it's not so bad. Yeah. See, I don't know. Factorio is one of those games, right? I, I, I don't mind. I don't mind if it's a little bit broken because at the end of the day, I feel like you're always competing with yourself to just make yeah. the best, most efficient factory. Like you're the real enemy. You know. What is this? A local radar. The heck's a local radar? So local radar does not expand your vision area. What it does is it will, uh, it will show you exactly. It gives you sight range of everything in your immediate area, if that makes okay. sense. Uh, so, you know when, like, you're looking at the map and everything is kind of staticky, even though it's mm -hmm. been explored? It gives you sight of that specific spot. Okay. So, useful for keeping an eye on, like, a wall, especially, you know, early on before you have bigger radar. And I don't think it pisses off the biters, but that's that's it. I've I've just seen this monstrosity of a moat that you've created. This is this is quite something. <laughs> you wanted to be on an island. Well, here we go. Yeah. <laughs> that is, <laughs> it. You've you've made like uh, you've made a Utah, or you've made you've made one of yeah. these these U.S. states that has oh, got yeah. such angular dimensions. Absolutely. And there's the little nubbins because I wanted to save some of the resources. Oh, okay. All right. A little, All right. a little nubbin goes a long way. That's what they say. Moat is okay. almost done. <laughs> Man, that was easier. I guess we Am still I? have kind of the other branch on this weird peninsula, dude. Oh, and I we can probably go. We can, we can create ships. Yes. We can sail around our moat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah, Are there real. artillery <laughs> boats? Um, can there's we, can AI we, boats. Can we put guns on our boats? I think so. You can put modules. You can put modules on the boats. So presumably, there's like a self-defense module or something, isn't there? Maybe. Yeah, you can definitely do that. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure we can have boats patrolling our our moat. <laughs> I would love to see that. Because one of the problems oh, I was running insane. into is with the uh, with the more advanced biters, uh, they will they will actually start spawning bases on your side of the moat. Ooh. Okay. And uh, it's not so bad, but it gets a little dicey. And so the last time I played, I was like, I'm gonna ro launch the rocket today, and then biters just started flowing over the moat into my into my base and I had to go like panic yeah. mode to fend them off yeah. uh, which was a nice change of pace you know I, I've been I've been flying pretty pretty easy breezy up until that point and so uh -huh. suddenly I actually had to give a dang all right okay. so now we only have to worry about attacks from the uh, the east okay uh, east is right side which I, I know, I know which way east is. No, I sorry, I was just thinking, uh, what's what's over there? We've not really. I have no idea. Uh, really Do we get radar yet? No. Deep deep core or chunk combined yield, a hundred thousand million percent. What does that actually mean? I don't uh, know what that is. Oh, are you looking at those? That's for yeah. deep core mining, which is something I haven't messed with because I didn't need to. But okay. it's an infinite yield resource that just requires some extra chains to process. Oh, okay. Yeah. 
which I don't necessarily know if we're going to need, considering all of this is infinite, but yeah. I think it was an extra option to play with if uh, if we ran into trouble with resource chains. The more, uh, the merrier. Yeah. As far as I'm concerned. I've upgraded all the boilers, by the way, because I had to steal, and I just did. So, there awesome. you go. They're all upgraded. Uh, let's see. We should have Steam Engine 2s available as well. Uh, are they? I yeah. don't... Yeah, okay, apparently. We totally do. Well, you, yeah, you pick up the steel. 